Hey, what's going on, guys? Sitting here uh, in the uh, FedEx facility. Uh, it's about 12 o'clock noon on Tuesday. Today is the 10th of December. Kind of a little bit conflicted right now. So if you guys caught my uh, video that I posted, I think it was yesterday, I've been uh, thinking about getting off of uh, over the road um, and working locally. The biggest issue that I'm running into is that I am not in uh, Tennessee is where I want to work locally at. So it's been kind of difficult to uh, do any kind of interviewing or get something set up. So if I do find decide to leave here that I can just go up there and start working right away. I, you know, I get that, you know, it costs money uh, to do a background check and, and, you know, paperwork and things like that. But, you know, from what I've been being told is that, and this has been about by three or four different companies, is they want me to physically be in the state first before they start doing the hiring process. So it's been really, really frustrating for me. I wanted to get stuff lined up so that if I did uh, leave here that I would have something that I could go right into when I get up there and not have, you know, having a time period where I'm waiting um, and not working. So just getting a little bit frustrated. You know, I didn't have any problems, you know, when I came over here uh, to Total. I mean, I lived in Texas, they were in uh, Mississippi. You know, they did everything. They ran all my paperwork, my files, my background check, all that stuff. And, you know, they at least gave me the preliminary, okay, you're hired, you know, providing, you know, you pass your, you know, your drug test. And so I at least had an idea that, you know, cool, you know, they're going to hire me because I, I knew I was clean on my, on my, on my UA. And, you know, I had everything all set up where I had a little bit more peace of mind. With this... It's just frustrating. It's like, okay, so I finished off this contract end of the month. You know, I move up there and don't have anything, you know, set up or guaranteed. I'd want to do the right thing and give this company or any other company that I work for, you know, a two week notice. You know, you should always do that. You know, it just, it looks good on you. It looks good for the other company that you're moving to that you know you're going to give them enough time so they can replace you or you know whatever of course you know if they're going to fire you they never give you a two-week notice as you're going to get fired but you know for them that's what they want to see so it's going to have a hard time today today is the 10th this contract ends uh christmas eve so today would be the two uh two week mark I've been looking at uh, Indeed and a couple other uh, places looking for, uh, you know, some jobs locally up there. You know, run across a few of them. Just haven't really found, uh, you know, something that I think is going to work out well for me. You know, a lot of these local jobs, they're paying anywhere between like 15 and 18 bucks an hour. So, you know, when you're, when you're OTR, you get paid by the mile. And you know, you're driving the house that you're living in. So you're not having to pay rent, you're not having to pay utilities, you're not paying any of that stuff, you stay in the truck. Well, when you go and work locally, you obviously have more bills and things that you have to cover. You know, you have uh, you know, a place that you're gonna stay, you know, you got rent, utilities. Um, I mean, I just recently purchased a car, so I already have that, you know, car payment, insurance, things like that. So. Not to mention anything else you have. You've got child support, if you've got credit cards, if you have, you know, cell phone bill, you know, the list goes on. Whatever bills you have, you have to make sure that when you're going locally, 
that you're going to be able to make you know enough money to cover everything because more bills are being added on to you going from OTR to working locally. So I'm sitting there and I'm trying to do the math and I'm just like, you know, 40 hours at 18 or 19 bucks an hour is not going to really be enough to, you know, cover things. You know, it's really, you need to be about the 24 to $25 an hour mark, uh, for me personally anyways, to feel comfortable and make sure that everything, you know, can get covered. And I'm just not seeing a lot of jobs locally that are paying that amount. Now... You know, being out here in the truck, I mean, you're typically driving anywhere between, you know, 50, 60, 70 hours a week. So it's not a big deal for me, you know, to work 70 hours a week. But I just don't, you know, overtime isn't a guarantee. And so if there is overtime of, you know, 10, 15, 20 hours a week, then that's great. You know, then making 18, 19, you know, bucks an hour on top of your time and a half for your overtime, it would it'd work out fine. But I've learned over the years that never count on overtime, never input it into your finances, your, you know, what you're going to be making for that, you know, particular, you know, week, two weeks or whatever, because you just don't, you just never know if you are in fact going to be working those overtime hours or not. I like to do numbers that are baseline that I know for a fact that that's what I'm going to be making. So I like this work in this dedicated route. This dedicated route is 1400 bucks a week. It's, it's, that's what it is. I mean, as long as you show up for work, that's what you're getting paid. Now, of course, that's before taxes. Um, and there is the ability to work one extra day, so six days, which obviously would bring that up higher than 1400 But I have an idea, and I know what I'm going to be making that for that week and for that month, so I can do my bills and do a budget. So, just having a rough time here right now. I don't like not having a plan. I don't like not being able to move into a situation. I don't like not being, you know, knowing that I've got income coming in. So just been sitting here going through Indeed and a couple of other job sites, just trying to find, you know, something that might work out well for me. And, you know, just hope that if I find one that the employer is willing to at least give me the preliminary, okay, yeah, you know, we've got spots opened up, you meet our qualifications, you know, we can start you know, the process. Again, you know, background check, all the other kind of stuff. You have a job providing you can pass the UA kind of a thing. And just so far, I just haven't run across anything uh, so far yet today. Uh, it's noon, so I still got time to uh, to run into, uh, you know, some other companies. So I just want to get in and pop and just pop in and just do a quick video, let you guys know uh, what's going on with me today. Um, super rainy, it's wet, it's cold. Nothing super exciting happening. I'll, I'll uh, run my shift tonight about nine o'clock and then, uh, you know, depending on how many runs I've got, finish off in the morning, so. But um, just wanted to pop in, say what's up, kind of, you know, I guess vent or rant a little bit, ramble. So, all right guys, well, thanks for checking me out, listening to me ramble. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, hit the like, share, subscribe button, ring the bell, you'll get notified when I do new videos. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted, you know, if I run into something uh, that I think may work out for me, uh, you know, I'll let you guys know. So, all right guys, uh, until next video, look out for yourself and one another. Be safe out there, and Trucker J is out.